This is exactly how I want to be spending my Thursday. It's great. Hey guys, it's Visual Moss here, and this is gonna be a really, really short video because I didn't really think about it until I kind of got here. I was kind of too busy worrying about my health, if that makes any sense. Um, so you guys all know that I don't have cloud, um, which kind of sucks in this whole entire situation that I'm in right now. Probably could have been prevented, or at least would have had more of chances of being prevented if I had a cloud, but I don't. So this is where I'm at right now. Um, I wouldn't watch this if you're triggered by, like, hospital stuff or, like, IVs and stuff like that. Um, just pre-warning now. Okay, so like I said, this is gonna be, like, a really short video because there's not really much going on. I'm literally just sitting in my room. Um, I'm here by myself, by the way. So, let's just start off in the beginning of the story. Trying to figure out a better way to hold my phone without my arm like dying okay so i have school today school was surprisingly all right um i was having minor not not even, yeah minor headaches or migraines that i usually get i usually get them a lot um so it pretty started like they were off and on all day i wasn't too focused on them though <clears throat> Then the school day was over, and I still felt perfectly fine. Uh, I want to say perfectly fine because I never feel perfectly fine, but, like, I'm not as bad as I do now. Um, and I went to work because I go straight from school to work. And that's when it pretty much all started. I get to work at 3 o'clock, and the, the flare-up started happening around, like, 3.30. Uh, I was sitting at work, and... I just, I can't even describe the feeling, like, I just felt really, really hot, but, like, I touched myself and I felt, like, cold, like, my skin felt cold or, like, normal, but I just felt really, really hot. My head, I can feel it filling up with, like, it, I don't know how to describe it, you can just feel your head fill up with, I don't even know how to say it, how, like, what it would it even be filling up with but that's just how it feels it feels like it's filling up with something like smoky or I don't know that's just how it feels and um my vision started getting really blurry I couldn't my attention span was really really bad I was disassociating um and we don't know what disassociating is it's where you're pretty much disconnected from the world and you don't like really realize where you're at and your brain just kind of like I don't know how else to describe it. You just have to look it up. Google is your friend. Okay, but anyway, so I started disassociating all over the place. I was really trying to decide on what I was going to do um, because obviously these things were kind of normal. I get these things a lot and I just kind of push through them, I guess I could say. And my hair looks really, really bad. Um, don't mind my hair. I, I really can't fix it right now. Um, so that's just kind of what happened. Um, these things happen pretty normally, but it was all happening at once. And sometimes these things kind of just happen like one at a time or two at a time at least. Um, a bad day three at a time, but these were happening all at once. So I knew that I was getting ready to faint. And fainting is something else that I do and it doesn't happen as often as other people might get it but it happens and whenever I'm having one of those times where everything is happening at once um, I faint so I wanted to rush here to the ER to make sure that I'm okay and that I don't faint because the last time I fainted I fainted and hit my head on the ground really bad and I didn't end up going to the ER two days after that. So, um, sorry, they like, my uh, door thing is open. I'm trying to talk low because I don't want to bother anybody else. I'm not in like an actual like, regular hospital room, I'm in the ER room. Just because I'm, I'm just getting monitored, I'm not going to be like staying here or anything like that. But I just wanted to make this short like 
video to show you guys how serious a service dog can be because like I said if I had cloud this probably could have been prevented I'm not completely sure not 100% sure okay so to start off I'm gonna like explain uh, what I have right now so I have a monitor on my finger and it goes up to right there and it is monitoring my heart rate my vital, vital signs and everything like that um, and then I have an IV right here um, the IV isn't connected to anything because I don't know why usually it is usually they connect it to something like but usually it's connected to um, a bag of saline solution and that would help but she ended up giving me some sedatives through here and they're gonna make me like really really calm and drowsy and stuff so I can't even drive home because I drove myself here surprisingly I should have took an ambulance because I could have I could have fainted during driving but I drove here and my car is outside um, definitely can't drive home so I have to find somebody to take me home um, but they gave me uh, I forget what it's called, sedatives, that's what I said, I think, <laughs> um, in this IV, and then they also took blood work to do lab tests, um, because, I don't know if you noticed or not, but right here, you can see those little dots, they're not my freckles, but you can kind of see them, they're little dots, um, I have them on both arms and I have them on my back and they wanted to take blood work to make sure to see what that even was because it didn't start showing up until during my flare up. Right now I'm just calming down, letting the sedatives kick in and um, waiting for the blood work to get back and then I'll probably be discharged. Um, so it's not that serious but it could have been a lot worse if I didn't come here and this is actually my first time ever coming to a hospital by myself um so I was pretty nervous and uh, I really did debate about it for like a while um so yeah my face scratches um so yeah I don't really have much like I said this video is like extremely short but I just wanted to give the general idea of what it's like um i just tell you the story about how this this time happened and hopefully this is more of like a documentary of, for myself so i like can remind myself like oh this is how i'm feeling and i felt like this before so maybe i should go to the hospital that type of thing um see the thing about cloud the reason i say that if I had caught it could have been prevented is because there are signs that show way before a flare-up even happens and um, the thing is is if you know that a flare is going to happen and if you take extra precaution whether it be medications whether it be going to a quiet place and just chilling out taking a deep breath you know it can be prevented but once it gets too far to where it is actually it during a flare-up um, you can't really do much about it besides just making sure you're in a safe environment and getting the medications and solutions that you need and stuff like that for cloud um, there are symptoms that happen way before a flare-up happens and I have trained cloud to alert me to those symptoms because a majority of the time I don't see those symptoms and she does that's what she's for is to, to let me know about those symptoms before the, it gets worse like this. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I just want to let you know, like, the importance of a psychiatric service animal, or so, service animals in general, but I'm just talking about psychiatric may, mostly in this video, just because mine's psychiatric. Um, so, it's pretty much it. Uh, how important she is, because I know a lot of people, they have their opinions about psychiatric service dogs um, and what it's like for me not to have my service animal pretty much or just in general how it's like for me because I've never really talked too much about my conditions in this channel and I want to be a little bit more open than I have been I've just been a little 
iffy with being as open and right now like I'm really trying to so I hope you guys enjoy it and leave me feedback if you want more of uh, me being um, open I guess I'm trying to do quotations uh, then let me know because I definitely will a lot more at least like not too open I'm not gonna say too much but a little more open than I am pretty much and um, kind of convert the channel more about not just Claude being a service dog but like mental illnesses in general um, bringing that out there um, also I haven't exactly I don't really know much about um, how to prevent flare-ups if you don't have a service animal, if you have the same condition, like if you have PTSD or anything like that. Um, I I don't really know of any ways to help besides my service dog because my service dog is like so important to me and I've just kind of like relied on her a lot. So um, I, I, I couldn't tell you on how to figure out how to help this if you don't have a service animal um but if you you need help you can leave a comment down below and i'm pretty sure there's going to be somebody who will read the comments and see your comment and have a suggestion of what you could do as you can tell it's already really kicking in and i really have to go pee so that's great back in my car and um don't feel the greatest but I'm about to just go home and, and sleep um I cannot even get my seatbelt on this is how bad um honestly I shouldn't be driving they were trying to get somebody to come get me but nobody was able to um so that's that um, so yeah, I'm gonna be going on my way home. Um, there's my IV thing. They actually ended up having to poke me, you see a little dot right there, on both arms and failed to get my veins, so that is just great. But, um, uh, yeah, so that was my experience. Uh, I asked to get wheelchaired out because it was, I was like the way back at the hospital towards the parking lot and I just, I couldn't deal walking that again. I already had to walk all the way there and it just made everything worse. So I didn't want to end up having to leave with everything being worse, if that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, but, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, it's not exactly what you want, but, um something educational I guess uh, I'll see you guys in the next video later <laughs>